Welcome to my garage. This is where the magic happens. What's up with these young kids and the way they're just progressing at phenomenal rates these days? We've got two kids, Mitchie Brusco, one of the youngest guys ever to join the 900 Club. And then right after him, Tom Shar joined the 900 Club. It's a pretty elite crew to be in. There's only six or seven people in the world that can actually do them. You've got two guys that are under 16 that are actually in that club. Then Tom Shar comes out just this past week and throws down fakey to forward 1080. If you watch the video over and over again, you're gonna see that it just looks like it's nothing for him. That day I was kind of feeling good. On the third try, I held on to it and slipped out and that was the try I knew I might land it today. And on the fourth try, I went way too high and I didn't come close and on the fifth try, I grabbed it, got all the way around, and at 720, I could see the coping, and I could tell I might land this, I, get, I might get all the way around. And I rolled away, and that was amazing. I'm gonna say right now that I think it has a lot to do with the fact that these kids don't know any better than to be good. You know, they've got a lot of guys in front of them who are pioneering the way. They've got people that are really supporting them, you know, their sponsors, the people they look up to. Kids are starting to skate younger. They're um, doing more at a younger age. And, uh, you know, a lot of that has, I think, come because the parents are supporting their kids in skateboarding. So they're allowed to go to skate parks. They're allowed to get out there and skate a lot more at a young age. And what that does is that gives kids confidence at a younger age. It gives them that drive to be good young. You've got these kids, but it's starting to happen more rapidly. I've seen it in snowboarding. We're starting to see it in surfing a lot more. And in skateboarding, it's full bore right now. And it, that really excites me about skateboarding the most right now is seeing where Mega Ramp's gonna go. Because it's the most to me, like watching snowboarding, you've got you know your 22 foot deep super pipe, you've got a Mega Ramp porter pipe that's you know generally about the same size, and you've got a kicker. You know, you've got a 50 foot kicker. It's gonna, you know, the lines are really gonna start blurring between snowboarding and skateboarding. And I really look forward to that. I tell you what would be really scary is if that kid Sean White decided to hit the mega ramp because he already has that style on a snowboard where he's so solid. And on a skateboard, he lands bolts all the time. He likes to go huge. I don't understand why he hasn't taken to it. All right, Redhead, that's your call out. Get on the mega ramp. We wanna see a 30 foot high air out of the mega quarter pipe pretty soon, buddy.